Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. <laughs> you guessed by the title where I've been. The reject shop. Oh, it does it to me every time. Basically popped in to have a look. I knew they had some unicorn stuff out in one of their catalogues. But none of this was listed in their catalogue. Otherwise, I would have gone in a lot quicker. Um, and also... With my work, uh, chipboard shapes and stencils, I have designed a unicorn and mermaid range to go on sale at our next um, August show, and it will be going up on my website soon as well. Just haven't got around to putting them on the website. But look, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so... The twine in the 12 inch paper pack, I picked up a second reject shop. The first reject shop had these four goodies. So first I saw the die cuts and I thought, if that's only it, they're pretty cool. So I saw the die cuts hanging. They are very big. They were $4. This is on the bit more of the pricier side of the reject shop had been. Oh my god. Oh, I can do them on the back of here. Oh, that's white. You're going to be able to see it. So within... Just want to get a nice colour, they'll stand out on they'll stand out in one of these papers here. So within the die cut pack, it looks like you get two of everything. So you get two of the unicorns. It looks like two of each of the shells. So what I'm thinking of these die cuts is they're quite big. So this is a six inch sheet of paper, I'm putting them on. So they are quite big. So I'm gonna run them through my scanner and especially the mermaids. Look at the mermaids. So you get two clouds. The mermaids are basically six inches tall probably a bit big for what I wanted so I'm going to scan them and see how they work they're a little bit shiny but not that much we have some seahorses oh, the seahorse is just gorgeous so I'm not sure whether this range has come out before or this is a reject shop range because of there's four of the unicorn ones because it says sugar and spice studio now I believe that's a spotlight brand sugar and spice studio I believe but I've not been to spotlight recently so i haven't seen this there so it'd be interesting to know comment below if you've seen um so two blue and two pink unicorns and two um see these are just massive the mermaids so i'm going to shrink these down um but i thought these would work really really well with what i've got planned for work with the shapes so yeah i'm nearly 100 percent sure this sugar and spice studio or sugar and spice something is a spotlight brand or what you get spotlight so I did pick up the twine today at the second reject shop where I picked up the 12 inch paper pad. I saw it yesterday but I didn't pick it up but then I caved and picked it up today. Now the twine is, just looking where I put my receipt. I know the die cuts were $4, I believe the twine was as well. Okay, can't put my hand on my receipt. Oh, I'm sure I had it with me here. Oh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on today. No, I found it. I put it on the couch. Um, oh no, I haven't got today's receipt. Okay, I'm sure the twine's four or five dollars. I think it's four dollars. Don't quote me on that. The die cuts are definitely four dollars. The little paper pads, the six by six paper normal pads or non foiled, are five dollars. The bunting pack, I'll do a flip for these in a minute, was six dollars. I am denied about this one, but I thought I could do a bit of fussy cutting with the images to use them on the layouts. The foiled paper pad was six dollars and the big one was 12. now that's the average price at bridget shop for a paper pad this has got 40 sheets in it um that's about what you get them for at or not 12 dollars. 40 sheets is what we get them for at um spotlight so this is the first one so this is the six by six paper pad so this one is double-sided and these papers feel a bit I have to excuse my finger um that's taped up doesn't want to do much um I've cut myself right in the knuckle, where the knuckle um, bends, so I've had to tape it straight for a few days, and it's so annoying going to type or going to pick anything up when you can't bend your finger. Um, so these are gorgeous. These are more size that I'd probably cut out. The unicorns. Love this. This is beautiful. So I've got some more unicorns. More unicorns. And I know Amanda Christina and Artie Crafty Alchemy are probably drooling as we speak so they've got the little unicorns that'll begin good to fussy cut out so stripes on the back 
um, dancing unicorns. So even this, this is not babyish, but it will work for Alexis and some photos I've got planned. So then we come into the mermaids. Oh, what a shame the mermaids are touching each other. Naughty mermaid shouldn't be touching so we can fussy cut them out. I love the mermaid scales on the back. The mermaid scales are beautiful. The bubbles are just gorgeous. I love this print as well. This is just beautiful. So again, you could probably fussy cut some of these out. Some of them are on top of each other. Um, I love the swirls. The swirls are just gorgeous. And the stars. What else do we got? More bubbles. Coloured bubbles this time. And this is just beautiful as a focal point. Some more mermaids. Didn't expect to see this when I went in. Um, some more... More scales, more scales this way, some seahorses. Didn't expect to see this, so when I saw it, it was like, oh wow. Be perfect for what I wanted to use it for. Another mermaid that's huge, and this um, starfish on the back. So the little paper pad is double sided and is like, I'd say, cardstock weight. Now the bunting pad, sorry, with this one you get 24 double sided cardstock and you get two of each. So I think there's 12 designs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it looks like 12 designs. So this one you get 24 double-sided bunting paper. And I did up an hour about this one. Um, you get two sheets of 12 designs, but I thought it'd be great to cut out. I'm not going to use it as bunting. So we've got that one. I thought these would be nice to die cut and this strip up the top's really cute. Let's see if I can just flip to both pages. So we've got little little images I thought would be good to cut out and more swirls little unicorns stars so I don't know whether this has come out in spotlight at all or not or I'm just out of the loop with spotlight because I haven't been there in ages um, this is cute so it's basically the same design just in a bunting pad um, but I thought I could um, cut the images out and use them I may make a bunting for my stand for August. It depends how much time I've got. Um, so they're the little mermaids again and the little seahorses. There's another mermaid. So that is really cool. So six dollars, I don't know. When you compare, I suppose you're getting about the same size paper, you're just getting just in different shape. And then this is, mmm, this is what I fell in love with. Whimsical foil, so 20 paper pad, 20 sheets, two sheets of seven designs, and two sheets of each three plain designs. So it must be plain foil and then solid foil and then packed. So I love the rainbows. The rainbows are sort of rainbow coloured when you move them around, which is really, really cool. So this is again cardstock weight. This is cool. Um, so pink dots, it's a bit misprinted here. Maybe that's why they ended up in the reject shop. I have no idea. This is beautiful foil. Oh, band aid's getting stuck. So this one's a bit sort of embossed. You can sort of see on the back it's a bit embossed with the with the mermaid pattern. Then we've got stripes. I've got plain purple solid. This is just beautiful. I wish this was in a 12 inch one. We've got more mermaid dots, dots this time. Mermaid, sorry, scales blue so blues and purples and we've got blue stars again the registration of this one's a little off the side but maybe that's why i ended up in the rigid shop i have no idea then the big paper i am an when i saw this today and then thought why not because i was going to make some big 12 inch um designs i've got some big 12 inch chipboard designs that go along with the mermaid and unicorn theme so i thought why not so this one don't know what i'm going to do with that one probably use the bottom part of it I'm just wondering if it's the same paper in this one. This design's in this one. Okay, that would probably be the similar one. So similar designs, not so interesting to flip through and see. I haven't seen inside this one. So the paper in this pad is thinner, but it's good to layer with and to back with. So it looks like you get two of each design. Two of each 12 designs. Two of each 20 designs to make 40. So nice stripe. Or the little the little unicorns. I love this one. This one's just beautiful. 
makes my eyes sort of go bleh, but it's beautiful. More little unicorns to cut out. They're a better size to cut out. And because this is a bit thinner paper, usually I glue it to a piece of cardstock before I go and cut it out. Oh, this is nice, the ombre. So this I haven't seen in the paper pad at all. Oh, excuse me, sirens going past. Today it's just been siren after siren. And I can tell that's coming down my street because that is very loud. I do apologise for the siren. It'll be gone in a minute. That is just gorgeous. Maybe I needed two of these. No, I was trying to be good and only get one. Um, these are beautiful cut out. Oh, that's ombre as well. That's purple and green. Oh, that's not in the paper pad either, the little one. So we do have some different designs. Love this. And of course, I will endeavour to film if I use this and my chipboard shapes. I just, I just don't know whether I'll get it done before the show or have to just do it quickly and not film. We'll see. That is just gorgeous with the mermaids. Don't know how I'd use that whole sheet of paper. Give me some suggestions. Possibly cut the mermaids out and just use pieces of them. Because if you cut the pink one out, you cut the purple one out, they're full. You cut the blue one out, you're only going to miss a bit of a hand and tail, but I'm sure I could cover those up. You cover coming in from this page. And then this one, you basically can cut her tail off here and here and have her again. You put something over where she's missing. So we'll see. Oh, some beautiful mermaid scale. The pinks and the purples. This one, I love. This one's beautiful. Um, some bubbles. I love the bubbles too. The bubbles are just beautiful. Now we've got this one, which is the silhouette of the mermaids. Got some more mermaid scales. I'm just in love with this range. I've got so much work to do this weekend, or I'd crack straight into these. It's terrible. Some starfishies. Oh, I love these coloured bubbles as well. These would be great for layering. I love that the range is pastel, but it's not too washed out. It's like bold pastel, if you get what I mean. That is just gorgeous. And I think we've got that in this ball paper pack too. Oops. No. We don't have this one in the small paper pad, so there's smaller mermaids to cut out. That's really cool. It's the bit of sticky that is annoying me that comes on the paper pads. have to cut that off. So we've got that one. Oh, that's beautiful. The rainbow ombre. Mermaid scales. This is just gorgeous paper. And the little seahorses. I could see them cut out and scattered around. So that is my reject shop haul for the last couple of days. So if you like unicorns and mermaids, and who doesn't, and you want some more paper and some twine and some die cuts, head to the reject shop because I don't think it's going to be around for long. I was looking for the ribbons that were in the catalogue, that's what I saw, but I didn't get any of the ribbons because they were all sold out. I'm going to try another store in Melbourne, but I think that would have been sold out before Bendigo unless they get more stock. Um, and if there's anything else in this range, I will grab it or take a picture and pop up to show you guys. Can't wait to start on this. I will also show you the process if I do go and scan these and cut them out and I'll show you what they look like. Um, I've just got a new laser printer so they should work really well as long as the shine's not on them. So that'd be nice to cut out into smaller embellishments. So thank you for watching and I put a disclaimer at the end. I am sorry if I enable anyone to run out to the reject shop and buy this stuff. I'm sorry. But it's sort of for work, so I sort of had to have it. <laughs> oh, I'm dreadful. Okay, bye for now.